name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, the theme for this morning's Gospel, there was a lot in this, mo this morning's Gospel, but the theme for this morning that I would like to focus on is complete reliance on the Lord. Complete reliance on God. We hear the Lord speaking about one of the most common issues that we as human beings have and that is what we have needs and we need those needs met and when we think that those needs are not going to be met we start to what we start to worry worry that one thing that from the very first man to the very last person on earth will constantly be with us and what does the Lord have to say about this this morning? He says, don't worry about these things. Don't worry about these things. He says, I know what you need. As if somehow God has somehow neglected to realize, Lord, I, I need food in my fridge each day. Or I need a job. Or I need this or that, whatever it is. The Lord says, I know these things already. And I can provide. And He gives us a command. He gives us a way of living in order to overcome this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Focus on the kingdom of God first. And His righteousness. But this can be very hard for us to implement. You see, we live in a very, very comfortable kind of a life. I go to my job and every fortnight or however often the pay appears into my bank account. I go to the supermarket and there's, there is food on, on the shelves. I go down to fill petrol into my car there's petrol there, I have money to be able to buy it. <coughs> if I need to buy clothes, I can do that. I have my health and if I don't, I go and see a doctor and I'm able to go and see a doctor and get some attention. Brothers and sisters, it's very easy for take, to take for granted that all of these things just come. And yet, what the Lord is saying to us this morning is very important. It's Wait a minute. None of that is of your own doing. It's the work of the Lord Himself. But sometimes, brothers and sisters, we don't recognize this. We take it for granted. I work and so, you know, I'm able to, to do all of these things. And yet, what happens when tomorrow I get sick? And I'm unable to work. And then all of a sudden, that income that I used to rely on vanishes. And then everything around me disappears. It's very, it's very hard in our kind of lifestyle to actually recognize or to actually be able to implement this kind of life of complete reliance on the Lord. But let me give you an example. How many of us, how many of us, get sick? And, I, and by the way, I should say, I'm guilty of this myself. Get sick, or my child gets sick, first thing I do is go to the doctor. Book, book, a, um, book a meeting with the GP, go and see the GP, get the script filled, get my medication. And then what happens? I take the medication, I'm not getting any better. I'll go back to the doctor. And then it just keeps going on and on and on. And then maybe, maybe, I might contact the priest and say, Father, I might need some prayer for this. How many of us think about prayer at the very beginning? Not to say that we dispense with medical intervention. 
course, this is a, it's a wonderful thing and it, it's something that we should be grateful for. But how many of us, we get sick, turn our minds to the fact of prayer? As if the GP comes first and God comes second only when it's too late and we can't figure it out. And so, we need to come to a place, brothers and sisters, where we recognize that we must have complete reliance on Him. He is the one that provides everything. Without Him, I can do nothing. Think about it. The fact that I can continue to breathe, that my heart continues to beat, is only as a result of His grace. There is no guarantee that I have another 10 minutes of life. But it comes to complete reliance on the Lord in my life and recognizing, recognizing. And by the way, this is why gratitude and being thankful to the Lord in our life is so fundamentally important because it helps us to recognize the fact that He is the one that gives, not me. We live in a world now where it's all about self-sufficiency. The, the, the key word there is self. But for us as Christians, where does our, our reliance come from? It comes from God Himself. I of myself can do nothing. <coughs> it is through God that all of these things are possible. I tell you, this is interesting story. It happened just a couple of years ago. And um, and it kind of shows, demonstrates uh, this is related to a church in Sydney and the church had bought a number of houses around them to expand the church. The church was expanding and growing and on the block was one last house, one last neighbour and this neighbour dug his heels in and he said to them, if you want to buy my house, I won't take any, not a cent less than two million dollars. This is Sydney, by the way, so you know, you've got, um, um, everybody pays two million dollars for everything. So, so, one of the priests goes to the neighbor and says to him, look, Two million and fifty dollars exactly is the offer. You take it or leave it. And the neighbor said, fine. Two million and fifty dollars. He wouldn't take less than two million, but two million and fifty dollars is fine. He accepted the offer. He went back. And the priest goes back. And, uh, and he says, okay, he's accepted uh, this offer. And the treasurer of the church says, Father, that's very good. Except we only have 700,000. And he said, what we've agreed is what we've agreed. Leave it up to God. And sure enough, within a very short period of time, the money came. Why? Because he was sure in God's ability to provide. The lesson, of course, in that is, is not that we make gr grandiose demands on God. The point is that when we live a life of reliance on God and confidence, by the way, it has to, ha it has to be with confidence that God can and will provide. And who of, us, who, of us here, who of us here doesn't have some sort of a need? Who of us at some point doesn't have a need for something. Maybe it's those of us who would like to be married. Those of, maybe it's those of us who would like to start a family. Or maybe it's those of us who are looking for a job. Or whatever the need is. The person who puts all of their hope in the Lord will see the result. But he gives us the formula. He says to us, 
Don't worry about these things. Focus on the kingdom of heaven. And why the kingdom of heaven? Because the eternal puts everything that's earthly into perspective. I mean, what is my the job that I'm hoping to get compared to, to the eternal life and to the eternal glory that is awaiting us? It's nothing. And then when he says, by the way, and his righteousness, what does he mean by this? His righteousness, never forgetting that God is faithful to his word. When he says this, he means it. Five minutes after leaving the land of Egypt, when Moses led the Israelites out of the land of Egypt, not even five minutes later, the Israelites are complaining. They forget all the plagues and everything that happened, the might of God and the, the angel of death coming over and the Passover meal. They forgot all of this. And they start complaining. Where is God? He's left us, He's sending us out here to die. They get to the Red Sea. And they're still complaining. God parts the Red Sea. They pass through on dry land. And shortly after this, they start complaining. We don't have enough food. We don't have this. We don't have that. Why do we focus on His righteousness? Because it reminds us that the Lord is faithful and true in everything that He, he says. A life of complete reliance on God. That any time I'm able to eat, I turn, I turn to the Lord and I say, Thank you, Lord. You are the one who feeds me. You are the one who clothes me. It is you, Lord, who puts a roof over my head. It is you who gives me the health that I have and enables me to work. It is you who blesses my family. It's that complete reliance on the Lord in our life that we look to Him and Him alone. And we have no other person. And brothers and sisters, in a world where Anxiety is at its peak. We have never ever been so affluent as a society, ever. Mankind has never been as rich as it has today. And yet, we, are, we have never been so anxious as well. And we see this. And this morning the Lord says, I give you the answer. If you never want to worry again, focus on the kingdom of heaven and focus on my righteousness and my ability to fulfill all things for you. And don't forget, I'll finish with this. You know, I was, when I read the gospel, my, ha my house happens to be, there's a, there's a forest behind us, behind my backyard. And... We have a lot of kookaburras that come to um, to visit our backyard, and we were talking one time about um, how healthy the kookaburras were looking. They're, they're fat and you know really really healthy looking birds. These birds don't have resumes. They don't have. They're not on a salary. They they, they don't have a superannuation plan. God forbid. I don't know what they're going to do. They don't have Medicare. What do they have? Who is feeding them? It's the Lord who feeds them. And the Lord says, if I'm feeding these birds, how much more value are you than they? So brothers and sisters, let us cultivate a life of complete reliance on the Lord in everything and if we do this we will find that these worries will vanish of course we will always have troubles in our life but with the Lord all things are possible